Hi, I'm Chris, and I'm a new Tesla owner, kind of, bringing you the best of Tesla consumer advice. Now, the most asked question I get as a new Tesla owner is, how much faster can I make my Tesla if I cut the entire body off of it? And today, I've got the answer for that. At first, we took off the doors and the trunk and the frunk to see if the car would get mad, and it did not. After that, we unbolted literally everything else that could be unbolted from this car to see if it would get mad, and it still did not. Today's episode, we will cut literally everything else off of the body till it looks like this, and then take it for a zero to 60 test drive to see how much faster it is than it was when it had all the doors. Consumer advice, stay tuned. Before we get down to work, I want to take a second out to thank our sponsor. Today's episode is sponsored by Avalon King. Avalon King is an awesome DIY ceramic coating solution. You guys know I'm all about DIY. Dealerships usually charge about $1,500 for ceramic coating, and now you can do it yourself for a fraction of the cost. It only takes around an hour and a half to coat an entire car. That's all the glass, the wheels, the trim, and it will instantly restore your trim to that rich color. And the coating makes everything hydrophobic, so water and dirt just bead right off. Check out the hood of my car here. We applied it on just half, and you can see the difference. And and you can use it on other things too, like your showers at home, all the scum and water will just bead right off. It's really easy to apply. You cover all the hard surfaces of your vehicle, including lights, windows, plastics, and chrome. And the ceramic coating uses nanotechnology that coats all the surfaces and the pores, and then it cures and hardens into a nice glossy shield. Because of that, it's way better than wax because it doesn't break down and have to be replaced every month or so. And the kit has everything that you need to DIY it and get results that usually cost over $1,000. So hit my link in the description, guys, and you're gonna save big. This is their biggest sale that they've ever done. You can buy three ceramic kits for only $99. Normally, the price of three kits would be $249. And the website also has other fabulous deals over this weekend, 20% off the site as well. Go check it out. Link is in the top of the description. Huge thanks to Avalon King for sponsoring this episode. Let's get back down to work. Let's get started with something easy. These guys right here are camera mounts, a piece of glass. They seem to be bolt off and somewhat uh, removable. I'm going to remove uh, those things from each side. And while I'm removing things, let's remove this glass too. Nearly impossible to do without breaking it. We'll see how my luck is. We got these pieces of glass off. They're kind of like the, the autopilot cameras here. It's pretty interesting. Up here we have a camera. Right here we have this big piece of metal that I'm not really sure what it is. And then on both sides of the, of the car, there's one of these guys, which I think are infrared modules. I'm not really sure, but I think it definitely has something to do with the vehicle's vision system. Pretty cool stuff. Definitely putting these in the safe pile. Rear quarter glass cutout was nearly impossible when we tried to use the kind of system that we use for the windshields with the uh, the, the I'm gonna call it metal string, which is not what it's called, but anyways, in the two handles, what I use is this guy. Just a little Harbor Freight oscillating tool, but the damage is done with this custom blade thing I made. So I sharpened both sides of this thing and uh, it can get into those hard to reach areas. So I was able to cut like this on the outside. And then when you have to come in on the inside, you go from the inside and use the kind of step on it and work your way around. And it works magic, cut them out without breaking them. Pretty cool thing to have if you're cutting glass. Next, we're gonna jump into the quarter panel and we wanna harvest these quarter panels. We do not want to uh, just, just randomly cut these out. We wanna keep them so we could use them on another wrecked Tesla. It's become very evident to me that I have enough parts now I could rebuild another wrecked Tesla, which I may do. Uh, maybe to give it away to one of you guys. Let me know if you'd like that as a giveaway car in the comments. So um, to do that, to take a quarter panel off, um, we're gonna you run down to Harbor Freight, get a spot weld drill bit, drill out the spot welds, along the seams where you need to. And then our cut lines are gonna be right here cut, right here cut. We're gonna cut deeper through both sides of this because we're not gonna use any of this stuff. And then we're gonna be around through there. Just harvest both sides of those and put them in storage. Now 
has got the quarter panels cut off on both sides. So as you can see, it's a lot of drilling out the spot welds uh, through here. And then we cut around the perimeter and pop those off. Now, the one really tricky thing is for some reason, this is something that we've only seen on Tesla and no other vehicles. They actually used a panel bonding compound to glue the panel down right here. So we actually had to use the same thing that we used to cut um, the windows out, that little metal um, wire. And we ran that through here and we were able to chop that. Without doing that, it's really hard not to damage the panel. And we wanna be able to reuse these in case we buy another crash Tesla. So here's both of the panels. They are off to go into storage. This one, unfortunately, was dented um, you know, when we got the vehicle, probably floated into something. But that's the quarter panel cut off of both sides. Now, if we were cutting this to be replacing the quarter panel, we would have cut it differently. But since we're just harvesting it, it's a bit of a different process. Okay, we've got a lot more cutting to go. I think I'm gonna keep working in the back area here, cutting some of this stuff out. But before I can do that, I need to take care of things like the sub box here, the amp, uh, and a lot of the wiring here can start to be run backwards. I also need to deal with the um, high voltage charging port here, get that more centered. So I'm gonna take some time um, disconnecting, rerouting wires back into the center. If, we, if you can bundle them all in the center of the vehicle, it's usually best and they can stay there until you reroute them back to their uh, you know, end spot with the new car. I went ahead and cleared out all the cabling from the passenger side, so everything's free. Oscar had a good idea, which was, hey, you haven't tried the car in a while, like, let's give it a try. And we do have a problem. Um, it's not related to what I just did, but it's saying that the charge cable might still be plugged in, and that's a really bad nag. That's a warning that I don't wanna have in there. And I think it has to do with some of the work that we did when we were working on the quarter panel. I think it has something to do with this guy right here. So we will um, start looking into it. It doesn't look like we actually unplugged anything. All right, all the plugs go through there, goes there, and that goes into there. We're gonna have to figure it out. Maybe, I mean, so super crazy if there's like a light sensor in here. Or no, because when it's closed, it should be like that. Okay, we're gonna figure it out and we'll let you guys know why it thinks the thing might be plugged in. Well guys, this one was a weird one and took us a long time to fix. An hour and a half into it, we finally figured it out. Okay, so here's your charging unit right here. You can see that there are three holes. These just look like bolt holes. God, this cam new camera focuses on my hand immediately. It's gonna be better overall for autofocus, but I, I apologize when I point at things. I need them to be exactly in the same distance. Anyways, bolt hole, bolt hole, thicker walled bolt hole. Hmm, very interesting. We noticed on the recorder panel that we cut off too that it, it didn't have paint around that bolt hole. That bolting hole needs to be grounded. If it is not grounded, it makes the system very mad. So reground it and we're good. So we're gonna, since this is very temporarily placed right now, um, well, let's just go ahead and move it. We're on to the next thing. We're gonna go ahead and clear the wiring harness throughout the driver's side of the car. And we are going to take that charger thing and move it somewhere probably a little bit more centralized because I don't want that thing floating as we try and test drive it. Got the charging port moved, we got our wires bundled. It is time to start cutting. I'm gonna start in the back here and shape this up. I've kind of got an idea of how I wanna leave it. So I'm gonna get the back shaped up while Oscar is gonna jump into the side skirt. Oscar and Zane are gonna be working on side skirts. Uh, this whole thing needs to be removed as well. How cool does that look? We have removed the trunk. Game plan here, I don't know if I even told you guys, we're going for the skateboard. So flat, up, down, flat again. 
We're cutting off everything that we need to so we can do the body swap. Uh, leaving some things that look like they may be helpful once we get the new body on here. So uh, the guys are still working on the side skirts. That's a really, really long, hard process. So I'm gonna move on. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut the next section out. Gotta be careful for the high voltage lines. Oh yeah, I wanted to tell you guys. So this being an electric car, it's not like on a gas car where we find the fuel lines, you know, and make sure that we're not cutting or welding into a fuel lines. There's high voltage lines in this uh, system. So what I did was uh, on Tesla's website, they have a first responder document for this vehicle that shows where a lot of important things are like the gas struts that are pressurized for the shocks or for the suspension system like where all the high voltage lines are for the electrical system and a few other things that i found really interesting so i went ahead and just read through that whole thing everybody that was working on the car read through that whole thing um, so we thought we had a good understanding of what was safe to do and what's not safe to do and um we followed that. So that's what I would advise you guys to do as well. So uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be cutting those uh, bright orange colored lines, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut that section off, this section off, off here and off there. Become the second truckla in the world pretty quick. Oscar just said Cybertruck. <laughs> Truckla version two. All right, guys, we got the back uh, area cut off. I left a little extra here um, hanging out. I'm gonna come back and clean this up right now. I'm just gonna clean all this stuff up, get the jaggedies out of the way. Um, Oscar and Zane got the side skirts off. So you can see that's what it looks like under the side skirts. Um, and then that like side panel right there. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this stuff up and then we can look at what's next to cut. Got the rear wheel wells a little cleaned up, a little bit better, just a little less chaos in there. And uh, now we're gonna move on for the last cut. We are gonna cut the rest of this roof off. We're gonna make this cut down here, right down here. There's a there's an interior line. This will be our our end position where we our final cut mark. We might go a little bit higher than that for today. We'll see. And then we're gonna cut right there by the dash. Again, the finger thing is really screwing this up. Right there by the dash uh, on both sides and then on the other side the only thing that we're going to do differently is right there by my head we're going to leave that pillar who said fast autofocus was a good thing Look at that. We accidentally created the first convertible Model 3. This thing is so awesome. It is in full skateboard mode, exactly like I had envisioned it. I'm so excited to drive this thing. So I was thinking about it. I, we, we obviously left that pillar for, um, for the seatbelt to bolt into. I think to get it, you know, street legal enough to where I'm not gonna just get impounded for driving it, we should get some tail lights on here. That'll give me brake lights, rear turn signals. I can do hand signals and stuff like that. I really wanna go drive this thing. I mean, it's insured, it's registered. There's no reason not to. So I'm gonna go ahead and re-weld on some of the old body panels that held the tail lights, bolt on the tail lights and plug them in. Hopefully everything will work good. And then we could take this thing for a test drive and we're gonna be able to give it a zero to 60 test and see how much faster is it when it has no body. Tail lights are installed. Yes, uh, you keen uh, uh, 
knowledgers of Tesla might just notice I welded steel to aluminum. Let's not worry about that. And, and the, the taillights are secured by the wires that are attached to the vehicle. Okay, let's go for a drive. I'm hungry. I guess it's probably like driving a motorcycle. I see a drive through It's basically a tradition at this point. Hey, what do you guys want from Wendy's? A couple four for fours? Oh, a Frosty. Frosty and fries. My sports car has cup holders. Hi, would you like to try one of our fresh baked 99 cent cookies today? Yes. Three Frosties and two value fries. 8.25. Thank you. You're welcome. Damn, inflation's a bitch. Even for Tesla owners. I can get the wheel really close. Hello. How are you? Doing good, how are you? Good. It's gonna be 8.25 for you. Oh yeah, money. Do you need to drink carrier for these? I hate to admit it, but I think I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. I like your car. Thank you. It's cool. You made this yourself? Yeah, it's the first Tesla Model 3 convertible. Tesla <laughs> Model 3 convertible. That's cool. Yeah. It's in summer mode right now. Oh, God, it's hot. Thank you, guys. Look at this silly Tesla owner. Does not even know. You don't need doors. You don't need doors. Extra weight. I thought my brakes were squeaking, but it's the Range Rover camera car. <laughs> okay, so on the drive down here, not a lot of people really cared about it, but on the way back, it's getting some good attention. I don't think I'd want to do this for like a long-term road trip because after 35, it's just kind of chaotic. But I would say it's probably just as peaceful as driving a motorcycle. Cheers, another world first. Jeepla. So, this is our new shop. We just moved in. Pretty badass. We're littering already. All right, zero to 60 predictions. How many, how, what, what fraction? So this is supposed to do it in 3.1 seconds. We took the whole body off. How much faster do you think it's gonna get than whatever it ran before? I'm gonna, I'm gonna break to you. I don't think it ran 3.1 seconds stock. I was gonna say, in ideal conditions, it'll run 3.1, but yeah. I doubt we had 3.1 to begin with. No, probably not. But, but let's, just, let's just all guess a fraction of a second how much faster it's gonna go. I think it'll go four tenths of a second faster. I think it'll be unmeasurable difference. Unmeasurable difference, okay. That's nearly impossible, so I might give you another guess. <laughs> well, four tenths and five tenths is actually... Yeah, you're right. Okay, you wanna stick with half a second? Uh, I'll, I'll go to point two. 0.2 seconds, okay. Yeah, I think I might be a little overzealous here. I'm just hoping, I'm hoping internally. I'll make sure I get a launch that actually grips up. If there's any tire like skittish, like skids, I'll redo it. All righty, here we go, zero to 60. All right, guys, we're back at the shop. Um, we've been working on a secret project and we, we worked overnight. So it's uh, it's 8 a.m. now. <laughs> Zane's working on the floors. Um, he's uh, getting, we're ready to put down epoxy so we can move in all of the cars. And uh, Oscar and I have been uh, doing a secret project that you will see in the next episode. But 
Results are in and they are going to shock you. Okay, car is supposed to do 0 to 60 in 3.1 seconds, but it did it actually, at, you know, not in perfect conditions, not on a drag strip, nothing like that. It did it in 3.8 seconds. So it's respectable, it's very good. Still like, you know, Lamborghini fast, no prep, everything super, super fast. Yeah. So we made our guesses, I guess what, four tenths of a second um, faster, yeah. you guess, Zero. The no noticeable difference and Zane gets two. two tenths of a second and also five tenths of a second. Yeah, two tenths of a second. Yeah. Ten tenths of a second <laughs> faster. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It went um, an entire second faster, zero to 60, by taking the body off. That puts it in Tesla Plaid. I think Tesla Plaid is 2.9 seconds, so it might actually be a shy faster than a Tesla Plaid, just taking your Model 3 performance and cutting the body off. Lightweight cars are the way to go. That is incredible. That is insane. Imagine if we cut the body off of Tesla Plaid. <laughs> <laughs> you know what else is kind of crazy is I couldn't even really tell that it was that much faster. Like I was test driving it pretty frequently and Really fast is just really, really fast. But I mean, it I cut a, that's just so insane how the improvements. So like I said before, we are working on a special project. You're gonna see that in the next episode. So we are taking a break from Tesla stuff and camper truck stuff for just a bit. And then we're back on Tesla stuff, camper truck stuff and boat stuff. So um, special project, I hope you guys will join us. It is super, super cool. We are building a new 24 hours of lemons builds to race Chris Fix. We've got a very unique build uh, that is just absolutely insane and super cool. And then um, as soon as we're done with that, we are getting the body that is gonna go on the Tesla body swap project, my exotic body. And uh, we're gonna start getting it on the Tesla. So it's gonna be really exciting. I hope you guys will join us. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. I think we just accidentally built one of the fastest Teslas ever. What a day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>